Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Maker Monday. Hey guys, I'm Dustin Barnes. Hello and welcome to the Justin McCann Public Library presentation on the introduction to Microsoft Publisher, how to create a brochure. How to create a brochure in 15 minutes. Today you will learn the basic operations of Microsoft Publisher while creating a three-fold brochure. You will need a Microsoft Publisher, the internet, and a printer. When opening Microsoft Publisher, you will have the option to choose a template or begin a blank document. For this lesson, we will choose a blank document. Choose the horizontal 11 by 8.5 inch document. Tools for manipulating your document are categorized at the top. While designing, we will work mainly under the headings, home, insert, and page design. Adjust the margins for your brochure under page design. Click margins and select narrow. We are going to create a three-fold brochure. Under page design, click margins and select custom margins. Select grid guides. Change the number of columns to 3 and spacing to 0.5. Rows should indicate 1. Select the box to add center guide between columns and rows. Now that we have our brochure formatted, watch this clip from 1 minute and 55 seconds to 4 minute and 55 seconds to get a better visual of our folding and design. In the images below, you'll see a preview of what our final design will look like. Shapes add style and visual to your brochures. Shapes is located within Home and Insert. Add a shape to your front cover or insert a picture logo from insert. Add any text you want to include on your cover. Add any text or images to the back cover. Then add graphics or further information for the far left column. Remember, this column will be folded over so it's the first page readers see after the cover. It should entice the reader to continue unfolding the brochure. Once you've designed the front, back, and folded column of your brochure, you've completed one side of the brochure. To create the other side, you will need to duplicate the pages. From Pages, next to your document workspace, right-click and select Insert Duplicate Page. On the inside of the brochure, you have three columns. Add the most important details and description to either of the first two columns. Use the third for a closing statement or call to action. And the last step is to fold your brochure into thirds. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more Maker Monday videos, check out this playlist. You can also learn more about the JCPL Creative Space at www.jesspublib.org forward slash creative space.